everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to finally be filming my what's in my hospital bag although i am really excited i can't believe that like that time is here because i feel like just yesterday i told you i was trying to conceive you were there for the ovulation test the pregnancy test the gender reveal and now we're freaking packing our hospital bag it's crazy i'm 34 weeks pregnant and i also wanted to give you um a little pregnancy update as well like i promised on instagram <laughs> Sorry, I had to sit down. I was literally out of breath from standing up. <laughs> That's really sad at 34 weeks. But I had my appointment today. Everything went well. Next week at 35 weeks is when they do the GBS test. And that's when they're going to start checking my cervix. And I'm going to start going every week after that. And of course, I'm going to bring you along for all of those updates. Because, you know, she's going to be here so soon. And I just want you guys to be there every step of the way with me. So... The only thing concerning today was that probably like for the past month and a half, I've stayed the same weight. I've stayed 130. However, Ella is growing fine. I've had ultrasounds. I, you know, they measure your belly at each appointment and she's growing okay. She said, if you can just try and eat more and get like the main things in because I think the main reason that I'm not gaining is that I'm super nauseous all the time. I still take Unisom every night before bed and meat grosses me out 90% of the time unless it's in the crock pot. Um, so I really am trying. I'm doing protein shakes and things like that. And of course, it makes me nervous because I just want her to be growing great. I mean, at her last ultrasound two weeks ago, she was perfect. She was already four pounds. She was measuring a little bit ahead and um, I have another ultrasound coming up on July 22nd. <sighs> How do I feel at 34 weeks? You know, I always keep it real. I feel like my the JJ. <laughs> God, I hope your kids aren't watching and then go repeat this. I feel like my downstairs is gonna fall off and my belly is too big to bend over to pick it up off the floor. Again, I'm feeling like more nauseous, so I feel like I'm back in the first trimester. Um, but I don't wanna complain because I'm just so grateful that she's healthy and I'm just so excited that we get to meet our baby girl soon. <laughs> so let's get into what's in our hospital bag. Make sure you stay tuned until the end to see Chris's portion of what's in his hospital bag. It's ridiculous and you're gonna laugh, but he's dead serious. Also, I just want to say, all you really need, honestly, is a way to give your baby food, whether you're breastfeeding or formula feeding. You need to keep them warm, you need to change your diaper, and that's really all you need. So, all of this stuff is just extra for those people like me that are anxious about delivering and just want to have everything in order. You can't always plan the way things are going to go or anything like that, but I'm lucky enough to have made it to 34 weeks and to pack everything that I feel like I will want or need. So let's get into it. So first, let me just show you our bags that we're using. This is what I'm using for my bag. It's just like a canvas tote. It's perfect. The bottom zippers. So you have like this whole extra compartment down here. If I were out, but like shoes and stuff like that. Z zippers everywhere, honestly. There's so many different compartments. And this is by Low and Sons. It's just like the perfect size. And I love just like how clean and simple it is. And you can totally just throw this in the washer, which is also amazing because I know you're thinking you're a mom and you have white, but this will be easily washed. And I got a new diaper bag for Ella sent to me. And I'm going to be using this as her hospital bag as well. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed, clearly, because I have two boys. I'm super excited to start having like some pink stuff. So this is Luli Baby, or Luli Baby. <laughs> so cute. And again, so many different compartments. I will say my favorite, favorite thing about this bag, you can wear it as a book bag. I had those other straps, but my absolute favorite thing is that it comes with these two little straps. You can just go ahead 
and hook it right onto your stroller, which is amazing. One less thing for you to carry. So this will be my new diaper bag, but in the meantime, it's going to be Ella's hospital bag. So in Ella's hospital bag, I am going to be having, uh, let's see, one, two, three different outfits. Um, I also have on my list, I've been telling everybody, I'm like, I have so much newborn stuff. Like if you wanna get me anything, get like bigger sizes. And when I went to go pack our hospital bag, I literally have two newborn onesies, like sleepers. So once I'm done this video, I'm gonna go ahead and order her a couple newborn sleepers with zippers. They're the best. And you know, if they come in time for the hospital bag, I'll probably wash those in draft and then add those to the hospital bag. But so far, she has one outfit with her little socks. And this is so cute. It's like little um, pants with a matching hat that says her name. And that's from Knott's Baby. What I love about them, besides the fact that I got um, Tanner's hat from there too, is that they pre-wash their stuff in draft so you don't even have to worry about washing it. And then I got her another cute little outfit to bring. I have her matching baby bling bow and some socks with it. Such an adorable sweet outfit. This bow is from Bebo's. Um, I found them on Instagram and I love how like big their bows are so I figure if anything I can get a picture of her in this and her swaddle I am just obsessed and then I got a short sleeve onesie a long sleeve onesie and then the best part of all is that my friend Brianna Bits of Brie got Ella and I matching outfits so Ella has this adorable matching gown with a matching hat. And then for me, she got me a hospital gown that is so extra and so adorable, along with a matching pink robe. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing ever. So that robe I will put in my hospital bag. And I also got a robe from Pink Blush before I knew that Brianna was sending me one. So yes, this is all of Ella's stuff as far as clothing goes. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in her bag. Before I put her stuff in here, I just wanna show you the inside. It's like silk, it has all these compartments for bottles. It comes with a little changing pad. It's amazing. And anything you see in this video, I'll try to have links below. And also guys, if there is anything that you don't see in this video and I don't mention it, and you wish you would have had it, please help me out and comment tell me like something that you wish you would have had in your diaper bag because or in your hospital bag because I know that I'm sure that I'm forgetting something of course but it's a 20 minute drive Chris usually comes home um, to see the boys and stuff like that and shower and things like that if he doesn't feel like showering at the hospital so I'm sure that I can easily get something that I forgot and then we can't forget blankets I went I do three muslin blankets. Again, um, we'll see how it goes. I can always have Chris bring more. The hospital does provide you with blankets, but I am obsessed with muslin blankets. And I am obsessed with the fact that this shop sent Ella her own custom muslin with her name on it. And I'll have that shop linked below. But it is absolutely adorable. And the shop is called Thimble Theory, but I'll link it below as well. These I just got from Target. This is from um, I Play Baby. And then this one is like a heavier, thick, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a velvety blanket. And I had one of these with both the boys and it was perfect because both boys were cold. Even though we were breastfeeding and doing skin to skin, I put on a muslin and this blanket on top of me while we we're doing skin to skin. So now I just always bring a heavier blanket with me. I'm also packing her MAM pacifiers, or as I call them, binkies. I went ahead and sterilized them and put them back in here. Um, a lot of the hospitals now are baby friendly and they don't provide binkies. And this is my third baby, so I'm not afraid to give a binky. I was still able to breastfeed, luckily, and um, give a binky, give 
pumped milk bottles and my babies didn't have nipple confusion so of course that's your own decision if you want to give your pacifiers but in my opinion pacifiers are life and then last but not least i'm just doing some things for her newborn photos there is a newborn photographer that comes around to the rooms at the hospital i will take their photos as well as my one girlfriend eva does photos so she'll be doing like more like lifestyle photos instead of like um, like the propped or staged photos, but you guys remember I got this from Marshalls like a hundred years ago a little unicorn thing this Little name tag is so adorable Again, I found this shop on Instagram and they sent this to me and I will have them linked below as well, but I'm picturing this Along with this beautiful crown from love crush crowns also found them on Instagram. They have both of them have amazing reputations, but how beautiful is this little crown? And then it has a little strap below. So I'm thinking, you know, never I you never know how it's all gonna go or anything like that. But I'm thinking her first like photo introducing her. Um it's going to be in a swaddle, this little crown and her little name tag. The gold goes perfectly together. And I'm just absolutely obsessed. Perfect. <laughs> so Miss Ella's bag is all ready to go. <laughs> Can't believe it, guys. I'm sorry I'm like cheesing and being so corny, but I just like where does time go? It's crazy. And also I never thought I'd have a little girl, so so excited. Now for my bag, um, I'm just gonna put the toiletries at the bottom of that bag. And I'll go ahead and do a little overview of everything that's in here as well as what I wrote on these bags. So we got all of our toiletries in here. I wrote on this bag what to grab last minute because I don't like to pack this ahead of time. Usually everything's just right in the shower anyway, so he can just grab everything. Um, but I wrote razor times two, face oil, face cream, face wash, some of my hair stuff, um, toothbrush times two, and toothpaste. Here's just another little baggie. I'm waiting for my boppy cover to come in. I need more zip-up onesies, and I want to get a pair of support leggings for myself. And then I just have a thing of nursing pads as well. Look how perfect all of that just fits in the bottom of this. I seriously am obsessed with this bag. It's perfect. Okay, I'm moving you guys down to the floor so that I can go ahead and pack this. So, I said, there's stuff on the bottom. Actually, I can probably put this on the bottom too. Hold on. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this water bottle. It's so freaking cute. Um, it's sold on Amazon. I'll link it below. But it says, drink more water, make more milk, and that is so true. The one thing I will say um, that happens to me with both of my boys is that, and it happens with a lot of women, you know, I used to be a NICU nurse and I worked in labor and delivery for uh, three years, and I also would go um, to the regular nursery, the regular like term nursery. And one thing that people always talk about is the sweating. They're like, is this normal? And a lot of times, yes, it is because you're getting rid of all that fluid. So you are super thirsty. And I don't know about you guys, but I was more thirsty and hungry breastfeeding than I ever was pregnant. Like seriously, cannot drink or eat enough. So I love this water bottle and I want to bring it with me so Chris can fill it up with ice and water for me. And I could go ahead and make my milk. I'll put that on the top actually. Um, so like I said, the um, gown and the robe that Brie got me, so adorable. Put that in the bottom. I did, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I did wash it and draft and iron it. <laughs> Why? I don't know, OCD problems. Um, and then here's the pink blush robe that I told you about. I don't know, I might take this back out and just take a bump photo in that too, because I have bump photos with the boys in robes and I don't have a bump photo with Ella in a robe, so we'll just see. But for now, it's going in there. Um, so as far as clothing goes, 
you can go like one of two ways. Usually the first day that I deliver, I want baggy everything. Um, the first day, I'm just going to wear probably um, not the gown, I'll probably just wear like a robe and this adorable outfit from Isabel Maternity, it's pajamas, but whatever, when you're postpartum, pajamas is your outfit. Um, they're nice and flowy and it's a nursing top, some shorts. Um, also for when I'm feeling the whole baggy thing, I have my joggers with me. This may also be like what I'm gonna wear at home, I'm not sure yet. I just wanna have options because you don't know how you're gonna feel. Some women are into the baggy thing right after birth and then the, with Tanner, I was totally into I wanted everything super tight because like you want to support your pads and everything um, and your basically adult diaper that you're wearing. You want everything tight and pulled up. So I have my leggings for that. Whatever I want, Chris can always run home and get to because I'm sure he's going to be home a couple of times. I also got these two nursing camis from um, Medela, and they're like nice and tight in the belly. So I'll have that as well. And um, if you're new here, I did have a vaginal delivery with both of my boys, so I'm packing for two days, which is usually the recovery time. Um, usually if you have a C-section, the recovery time is like a little bit longer. You never know, I could have a C-section this time, you never know. But this is what I'm packing in hopes to have a third vaginal delivery. And this bra is freaking amazing. It's so soft. I wore it like a couple of times just to see how it was before, um, before I go ahead and wear it postpartum. But it's just so soft and you can't see it through your shirts or anything. The clips are really, really easy to use. I'll go ahead and show you. It's just like this. Clips. Again, I want one in every color. It's like the softest material you ever felt in your life. This is from Bravado Designs. I wonder what the material is because it's freaking amazing. 77% nylon, 23% spandex. I don't know, but it's the best thing ever. And if you're looking for a nursing bra, it does have like a little padding to it, but no like wires or anything like that. So it's just I can't say enough good things about this bra. Again, I'll try to find a link to have it below. I'm only bringing two pairs of granny panties because you usually wear like these mesh underwear that they give you that go like all the way up to here. And for when I get home, I am going to be doing a postpartum essentials video as well. But when I get home, I ordered myself basically like adult diapers so that you can just go ahead and wear those and not even have to worry about the granny panties. And then this all hail the belly bandit i'm not even kidding this is my freaking favorite postpartum thing that I could never ever 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 live without so the reason i'm so obsessed with it is because i did not have it with carter and my belly just always felt like jelly like just like saggy i didn't feel support like when i sat down it was just uncomfortable like i don't know how to explain it but when you have a baby come out all of your organs are not in the same spot they used to be. So this belly bandit, I used the original belly bandit. I had the black one with tanner. And I decided to get the tan one or the nude one this time. But it's just freaking amazing. I got a small this time. Um, I got an extra small with tanner and it was just a little bit too tight. So I wanted to do the small this time and then if I need to shrink down, eventually I can. But I start wearing this on the day after I deliver. So it pretty much just gives you the best support. It helps your back and it just like feels like everything's going back into place. Like you're pushing everything back to where it should be. And again, this is one thing that I cannot say enough good things about because it basically made me feel like I wasn't still pregnant when I didn't have it with Carter. You know, my belly just sticks out. You look like you're pregnant for a while after you deliver because everything's going back down to size. But this just like kind of helped me feel more confident and just made everything just feel 
like nice and tight and in its place. The one thing that I do want to add to this is like some kind of slippers or something, but I want to order slippers. I don't have any slippers right now. Um, so slippers, you can pack your own socks. I like hospital socks because they have the grips on the bottom and I'll be wearing flip flops to the hospital. So I'll have those to wear home. You want a charger with a long cord. So I got this from Amazon. It has a super long cord just so that it can reach to your hospital bed. I think Chris covered this, but um, camera, camera charger. Another thing um, for me is the boppy. The boppy is life. I bring this to the hospital with me. I can't say enough good things about it. I use this for nursing with both boys. This is actually the same one I use for both of them. Sorry, Ella. But I did order an absolutely beautiful cover for it from um, Pottery Barn. I'll link it below, but it's adorable. It's so soft. It's like that velvety, I feel, I feel like it's called Minky, I forget. But that velvety feeling with her initials on it. And then on the back, I think it's like white. Anyway, I'll link it below, but you have to see it. It's beautiful, it's custom. They have them for boys as well. That should be here this week. Oh my gosh, how can I forget? The other thing is that I ordered her coming home outfit and it is absolutely beautiful. It's from SK Creations, another Instagram shop that I found. I'm gonna try and do like an overlay of the picture of the outfit that I ordered for her. It's absolutely gorgeous. It does have her initials on it. And then it comes with like a matching bow. And it is just like everything I dreamed of in a coming home outfit. Um, so yeah, I'll try and link that shop below as well. And this pillow is from ZZZ Pal, another Instagram shop that I found. Actually, they just got accepted into Walmart and everything like that. But this is amazing for nursing and just being comfortable. The one thing I will say about my vaginal deliveries is that my back and my neck kill me from pushing. Um, Tanner actually was born in one push from one contraction and still my body just hurts from all of that coming out of you. But um, with Carter, I was so sore after and I still have sciatica from Carter. I swear he's the one that caused it. But um, I pushed for an hour and a half with him. But anyway, see this pillow? This part goes behind your neck like this and it's the most comfortable thing ever. I also used it in the car on the way to vacation, but it comes in a bunch of different colors and things like that. I'll link that below. So I like to have like some kind of little pillow and my blankie. And this is from my very, very sweet subscriber, Angela. Uh, I think her name on here is Vegan Ohana, but she's always sending me the best care packages, like the coziest things, which I'm all about, like cozy, comfortable, feels like home feeling that's this but it has little unicorns on it and it's just so soft and i always like having my own blankie i always have like a plush blankie like this never sleep without one there's that let me get my notebook so i can see what i'm forgetting because i wrote down a bunch of stuff so also right before we leave i'll grab my makeup bag i know that sounds crazy to a lot of people like why do you need your makeup but sometimes like a shower and some makeup after delivery feels amazing. If you, if you feel like doing it, it does. It just feels so good to shower and get ready after you deliver. One of the best feelings in the world. So I did get these little um, to-go containers. I think I got these from either Target or Dollar Tree. I got them a while ago. But I went ahead and labeled it. This one is for Triple Paste and this one's for Aquaphor. They usually provide desitin in the hospital. I don't like desitin. It didn't work on either of my kids. So I use triple paste. I'm gonna put triple paste in here for her. Aquaphor in here. I like to use this on the face when there's like dry red patches. A lot of newborns have it. And then also in my other bag, I have Earth Baby Mama um, Lavender Baby Lotion because again, they don't provide baby lotion in most hospitals. They will provide newborn diapers to get us through this day. I am a Pampers snob, only because my boys have super sensitive skin, so I use Pampers sensitive and um, sensitive wipes, Pampers sensitive wipes, and they work great on them. 
and, and so many people get so upset if they forget your chapstick. Do not forget your chapstick. You need chapstick. You need chapstick. Put my chapstick in a safe place. I'm gonna fill these. So let's say, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a big one that I forgot, but I actually don't have it yet. Um, I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, but I got nursing covers. And the reason why that's a big one with me is because like when people are visiting like my in-laws and stuff like that, like I'm just, I'm very comfortable breastfeeding, but I'm not comfortable like having my boob out in front of like say my father-in-law. So I'd like to have a nursing cover when she's nursing. And you know, in the beginning they pretty much nurse like nonstop. So I still need a nursing cover. My length and all that. Yeah, got all my toiletries. Um, the one thing that I don't have in my toiletries is coconut oil. That's basically what I use as my lotion. So I will have to grab that. Um, and then I think I got everything for Ella. And then <laughs> you'll see Chris's portion next. And pretty sure he covered it all and then some. So I hope that you enjoyed this, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And before you know it, we'll have a birth vlog. But I still think, let me know if you want a pregnancy essentials video um, and the postpartum video. I really want to do the postpartum video, show you the things that have worked for me postpartum that made my life easier for postpartum. Hopefully I'll have time to do some freezer meals as well as show you like the, how I make pad stickles and things like that for postpartum. So. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. And I hope that you enjoy Chris's portion. All right, so Tiffany just showed you uh, all the important stuff that goes into her uh, hospital bag, but now it's my turn. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what goes into my all important dad hospital bag. Um, starting with the hospital bag, it's nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, just an Ikea diaper bag. Um, you don't have to go out and buy one just because I have one. You can use your old Jansport, um, you know, whatever book bag or you know, gym bag you have lying around. Um, I like this one because it has, you know, multiple zippers because I like to compartmentalize things by importance. Um, I take care of all of our electronics. So I've got you know, all the charging accessories. Um, a lot of times you leave the house without the charger. The iPad um, will definitely be watching some Netflix as we wait for the baby girl to arrive. Um, we've got the speaker system. Um, we like to jam out a little bit as uh, Tiffany's in labor. Uh, both of the boys were born to Jason Mraz songs. Um, we're putting a playlist together for Ella, so we're excited to see what songs she might be born to. Um, let's see. Uh, then you got your, you know, your clothes. Got to pack some some long pants, um, some shorts, you know the undies, that kind of stuff. Uh, a couple of t-shirts. Now, this is important. You do want to have something that that says you're the dad. Um, a lot of times, nurses and doctors uh, they get a little bit confused. So, um, you know, you want to make sure that it's easy. They know who the dad is, so they can just you know hand the baby off to you when when he or she's born. Uh, also, you know the baby. You know, the baby needs to know that, that you're the dad and, um, you know, that they should love you right away. Um, speaking of the baby, you know, I like to bring some, uh, some workout gear, some resistance bands. You don't want the baby thinking that you're weak, you know. You don't have time to hit the gym earlier that day. Uh, even if you think your wife would be okay with it, they're not okay with it. So, um, you know, bring the bands while she's in labor. Just, you know, do a couple curls, whatever. Um, just so your baby can see you as a strong figure uh, right from the start. Um, let's see. I think that's it for clothes. You don't need much, you know. You're not going to be sleeping. You're not going to be showering. So don't worry about bringing too many changes of clothes. Um, I would say, so this watch, this is going to go in my hospital bag. Um, very important. Got to be able to get the stopwatch up, start and stop very important when you're timing contractions don't forget that um, i gotta go back and google uh, what actually means something i forget that's been a while but i think like 60 seconds every 
two minutes or something. I don't know. Um, very, very important. I can't stress this enough. Wide receiver gloves. Okay, you can use any kind of gloves, gardening gloves. Um, but when the baby comes out, they can be a little bit slippery. All right. So if you, you know, don't want to drop your baby, first thing, you got to make sure you got some good gloves so that you're, you're ready to crest that baby and just give it its first kiss. Um, I'm serious about that, by the way. This, uh, this is also very important. This is, this is my um, pan away roll on. Uh, a lot of times, hospital beds, they're not the most comfortable places to sleep. Um, so I can't stress this enough. Make sure you get yourself some of this. Have your wife, Tiffany, will roll this on my back um, the next morning because you know, you're in a lot of pain as a dad sleeping on a hospital bed. Um, you know, and this will help take some of that pain away. So make sure you're doing that. Um, I'm not a big smoker, but uh, you know, when you have your first baby or your first girl or your first boy, you, know, you might want to light up a Cuban. Um, doctors don't care. Nurses don't care. Just right there in the hospital room, you'll be fine. Trust me on that. Um, and what would a little Cuban be good without? With uh, without a little rosé. You know what I mean? Rosé all day. Go ahead. Pop that right open. Light up your cigar. You'll be good to go. Um, slippers. Walk around the hospital in your slippers and your and your uh, nightgown or whatever your uh, robe. No, you'll be living high life. Um, it's a good combination. Trust me, doctors, nurses, they don't care. They know you're the dad, you're on cloud nine, you'll be good. All right, so good luck with all that. Um, you're going to love and being what the about, dad. what about when you pass out? Like uh, you with Tanner? Also, you <laughs> might want to throw some uh, smelling salts in your bag. Trust me, it happens, you know. Um, you do want to stay north of the, of the border. You don't want to look down there. <laughs> Trust me on that. I don't I care what you the doctors and nurses say, how beautiful this moment is. Trust me. Stay above the sheet. All right? Don't look down there. Once they're all cleaned up and cute, then you can go enjoy that time. He says it's don't beautiful it. after the fact. Don't do it. <laughs> Trust me. I told me. you not to. We'll put up, we'll do that birth vlog story and we'll tell you what happened. Thank you all again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And you can always follow us on Instagram at t.beaston. Sometimes an Instagram story is easier, a quicker update. If I go into labor or if I'm in triage. Um, so definitely check me out on Instagram so you can stay up to date with us then because Baby Watch is officially starting. Strangers, believe me when I say, loving me.